What's going on everybody? This is Tony Redgrave signing on for a gaming impression video which I like to call my gaming expectations. Yeah, I know, not really original, is it? But uh, what is original is the game that was released, well, the information of it was released in Game Informer um, last month. Last month being March, not May. Back. Yeah. Of 2015. But the game in particular is Mad Max. Son of a bitch. The new Mad Max, to be specific. And yes, I know it's his expiration notice, but I already fixed that up. But, anyway, a few expectations for it. One, I'm really hoping this one has multiplayer. And that's normally something I don't say with a lot of video games. I mean, me personally. I'm not too much of a fan of multiplayer, seeing as I don't have internet or Xbox Live. But, this one I hope does. And the reason why, because if you don't know what Mad Max is, especially if it's a game, it's going to be mostly a car combat game. You know, those old school games where you drove around in a car, you had guns on the car, and you shot the shit out of people? Well, this one ain't going to have guns on the car, but one can only hope. <clears throat> but... There's a few other things I'm expecting, and yes, I'm a smoker. I know, it's a disgusting habit. Don't get into it. Anyway, one of the other things I'm expecting is the Great White itself. Now, again, if you don't pay attention to the Mad Max lore, you're not going to know what the Great White is. And it's essentially, just to sum it up for you, it's essentially a desert. The planet wise desert. I mean, the oceans have dried up everything. But it's given me that to expect. And I expect, even though there's not a lot of green or anything, as a matter of fact, there's no green, I still expect a lot of variety to come with this game. Simply because of what it is. And simply because of the franchise. That and they're making a new movie, so I'm hoping the movie and the game kind of tie together. Which is something a lot of games don't do these days. They don't tie themselves with the media too much. I mean, Saints Row did it in Saints Row 4. And a few other games have done it, but most of them, especially ones that are based off of movies, they either don't follow the lore... Or they say they're do they say that you're playing the movie when it's nothing like the movie. Looking at you, Clash, Clash of the Titans. Mm. But I digress. So uh, let's see. Other expectations. Oh, the magnum opus itself. Now, from the Game Informer interview. There's going to be a character you meet early on in the game named Chum Bucket, and he's a black finger, which is essentially a badass mechanic. Well, he also worships cars, and he thinks that Max is some kind of angel sent by the god of combustion. Get it? Cars, you know? Anyway. And he thinks he's going to be able to help him build his masterwork, the Magnum Opus, which is basically the baddest ass car that there ever will be. Even better than the Interceptor, which is saying something. Because, I mean, if you haven't seen that car, it's badass. But what I'm hoping for is that the customization options aren't just basic. You know, like, upgrade the tires and just like, oh, well, the tires magically have better traction. No. What we want, 
or what we should want anyway from this is the tires to be different when we upgrade the engine we want the engine to be different I mean you saw the engine on the front cover let me show you again real quick yeah you see that look at that badass skull and everything holy shit see that's what we want that's what we want from for our magnum opus we want to be able to put all kinds of shit on this thing I'm not just talking about just a badass engine or badass tires. I'm talking like mufflers coming out the sides and everything. Not ridiculous, realistic, but badass at the same time. As realistic it gets for the Mad Max world. <sighs> also, some other expectations. Uh, really, just one other one, just personal to me. And while I haven't seen the movie... I haven't seen any of the movies. I really want the Thunderdome or something like it to be in the game. You know, maybe it could be like a little challenge thing. It doesn't even have to be part of the main game itself. It could be like a side thing. Maybe as a DLC, who knows. But I really want a Thunderdome-like arena that you can go, you can do like races, you can do like combat and stuff like that. I just think it'd be really awesome personally, and it'd really work for multiplayer. Now, they haven't said there's going to be multiplayer, which is why I'm stressing it. It needs multiplayer. After the newest Twisted Metal that came out like in 2000, fuck, I don't know, a long ass time ago, it needs multiplayer. But. That's basically all of my expectations. Uh, if you want to buy it, I'm not sure when it will be out. I just know it will be out this year, hopefully. <clears throat> but it will be on the Xbox One. So I don't have an Xbox One, but when I start working, damn right I'll be getting one. I need me an Xbox One just for this game. But anyway, though, that's all for me. This is Tony Redgrave signing off, and I hope you have a wonderful day.